My name is Yassi Parani. I'm a registered clinical counselor in Canada, and I specialize in working with people who have PSSD. PSSD stands for post-SSRI sexual dysfunction. PSSD is a chemically induced sexual dysfunction that arises after taking an SSRI or SNRI medication. Um, so symptoms can start either while on the medication or after, soon after people stop taking the medication. There's a whole range of symptoms, um, and they can include a loss of sensation in the genitals, inability to feel sexual pleasure, inability to orgasm, and even loss of romantic emotions. I have many patients that have essentially had their entire sexual functioning removed, and I've talked with people who haven't been able to feel any sexual sensation in two decades. And the symptoms can really range in severity, so for some people it's less pronounced than for others. So the less severe cases of this condition could be way more common than we think. Um, medications that cause PSSD are all SSRIs, so citalopram, escitalopram, fluoxetine, peroxetine, sertraline, and all SNRIs like Pristique, Cymbalta, and others. So there's normal treatments for sexual dysfunction like Viagra do not work for PSSD, um, and there's no known treatment or care. Um, romantic and sexual in relationships have, are a huge part of the human experience. So to have your sexuality and even romantic emotions permanently stripped from you is an absolutely catastrophic thing to happen for people. Um, there's really no way to measure the toll that this injury can take on someone's life and the depth of sense of loss that people experience. Losing this something that's fundamental um, is absolutely devastating. It's really common for people with this condition to struggle with thoughts of suicide, um, and many people have chosen suicide because of this injury. Um, when people report their symptoms, um, their symptoms are often blamed on their depression rather than seen as adverse effects from the medication, because lowered libido can be a symptom of depression for some people. Um, so, however, depression doesn't make your genitals go numb. Also, these medications are prescribed for conditions like anxiety and OCD, um, but reduced libido is not a symptom of those conditions. Um, patients are often not validated or believed when they report symptoms because most doctors just have no idea that this condition exists and that these medications can actually do this to people. So without medical and psychological support, people feel that they have no hope. So all too often, people experience having their concerns dismissed and rather than being believed and validated. This can intensify feelings of helplessness and make it even more difficult for people with PSSD to advocate for themselves effectively. And due to a lack of research and awareness in the medical community, and shame about speaking openly about sexual issues, PSSD is understudied and underreported. A lot of people don't know to attribute their symptoms to the medication, especially if they were on the medications at a young age, before full sexual development. Sexual function should be measured at baseline, so before people are put on the medications, and then again at regular intervals during treatment and after the treatment stops. Health Canada and the European Medicine Agency have recognized case reports of PSSD and that irreversible sexual effects of antidepressants are likely underreported due to lack of information and stigma, but doctors and patients are still not being warned of the real risks. It's important to know that there have been reported cases of people who have been who have recovered from PSSD, suggesting this condition is reversible. But finding a cure is only possible if research is done to better understand this condition. It's my hope that PSSD can be widely recognized within the medical community. Until this recognition occurs, patients are not going to be met with the compassion that they deserve and may continue to experience dismissal and shame associated with speaking out. I do appreciate that many people do benefit from these medications, but we must begin to recognize that they do cause serious and lasting harm to an unknown percentage of people and that true informed consent and transparency about the risks 
are central to reducing this harm. To anyone out there with PSSD, I see you, I hear you, and I believe you.